Yo Ha ha Milk never said What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Milton Nipperson, coming back with another video. Now, this sneaker video is special because your boy finally hit on a Yeezy Reflective Pair. It just so happens to be the Yeezy 380 Mist Reflective Pairs, and I couldn't be so more excited than I am right now because this shoe was limited. It was hard to get, and quite frankly, I didn't even know this shoe was coming out. A quick story before we get into the shoe. What happened was there was a rumor. We all know we can't really take rumors truthfully. <laughs> but there was a rumor that Yeezy Supply was going to drop the Yeezy 380 Mist reflective pairs on yeezysupply.com. Keep in mind, this is the same day as the Jordan 1 release for the Pine Greens. So I usually wake up like around 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. And I had to do that actually last Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, because we had renovations done to the house. So when those renovations happened, they cut my internet connection just to, you know, get to where they needed to get to. The problem is when they did that, I find a look on YouTube and I see a couple of lives, a couple of YouTube channels, mainly my man Gunnar Tierno, and I'm seeing Yeezy 380 reflective cop, you know, shock drop. So when I started looking at it, I'm like, wait a minute, that's that shoe's not supposed to release till, well, today... We're in the month of March, but like later on in the March, and I'm like, oh, that's the non-reflectives. Because the non-reflectives, they go for a price point, for those that don't know, it's $230. And I think that, if I'm not mistaken, the Yeezy 380 reflectives that I have, they're $250 because they reflect on the prime knit, um, and I think not on the laces. But anyway, so they drop, and I'm doing my normal thing, trying to scatter everything I can, uh, create some type of tunnels between my cell phone my cell phone act, actually had to act as a hotspot meaning I, wh whatever <laughs> internet connection i was getting on my cell phone i now had to kind of segment it to different devices to see if i can increase my chances to get these pairs now this was definitely limited i can tell you right now because i was even shocked that i was able to get through with a cell phone connection which is not as fast as my high speed internet connection from my isp provider in this case, Verizon. And I was so excited when I was able to cop. So it's so crazy how certain things can happen, but this is the first reflective Yeezy 380. Because I believe the previous version, the 380 Alien that came out not too long ago, that was non-reflective. I believe it dropped in November of last year. So when I heard about this shoe, I was able to actually wear the Yeezy 380 Aliens. And let me tell you right now, low key, the comfort level is sick. It's, it's real sick. It's, I know it throws people a lot off because the fact that the heel is risen up in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why I have the 350 Earth, the V2s, because technically the Yeezy 380s, it's rumored that the Yeezy 380s were supposed to be the Yeezy 350 V3s. It just so happens that they decided to give it its own flavor and just you know, say it like this is a Yeezy 380. That, again, that's what I'm here. So without further ado... Let's get in the shoe. We'll do the on feet. Of course, we're going to do the whole dark light so you can see the whole reflection, um, both in hand and on feet. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the shoe. And actually, before we get into the shoe, I know I do that a lot. <laughs> before we get in the shoe, thank you for joining the channel, at least subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, like if you can. It takes the channel a long way. And believe me, I will be doing a lot of giveaways. So the more exposure this channel gets the more giveaways i will be doing now let's get in the shoe and then i'll show you some differences between the v3 v3 i'll show you some subtle difference between the yeezy 380 and the yeezy 350 there are certain differences outside of just style and certain things that people haven't even noticed even on the aliens that i've noticed on these show you in a minute let's just get this thing opened up and for those that don't know why do i do cop videos meaning like i cop this video is to show people that i legitimately get my pairs from authenticated <laughs> authorized dealers there's no fugazis on my channel these are all authentic this is straight from easy supply so let's get this thing opened up i want to show my address and I mean, honestly, I couldn't believe I actually got the shoe. I, I, 
if you can see how happy I was just to copy it, it's good. And for those that did get the Easy 380 Mist Reflective Pairs, I'm telling you, because it's a first of its kind in terms of reflection, hold on to your pairs. If you can, hold on to your pairs. I don't see... I, I know Easy Supply comes out with the shoe later on and, you know, they'll say it's exclusive, but then a year later they come out with the shoe. If you can, hold on to your pair. I think it's going to go up and, and run. That's just my opinion. So, fortunately, the reflective pair, I was able to get the Easy 380 Reflective Mist, and I actually got my personal pair, size 13. And I know that these are boats. I know these are boats, but you can see right here, size 13. It does read Mist Reflective, Mist Reflective, Mist Reflective. And these are the originals. And of course, the box. We can see the differences between obviously a 350 and a 380. <laughs> but the box pretty much is the same. So let me put this right here. Let me open this up because, again, this is my first time actually seeing the Yeezy Boost. You can see the Yeezy Boost 380 right there. It's on this side. And also, ah, Adidas on the bottom. So let's get this shoe opened up. Whew, man. All right. All right. Pull out drawer like the rest of them. Whew. Now, I know a lot of people may not be a fan of the colorway. But, put this here. Close this up. For the, for the sake of this video, let's just throw the colorway around, color way out and just focus on the actual engineering design. Now, if you're looking at these shoes, these are the Yeezy 380s Reflective Mists. My first impression of the shoe is that this is going to be interesting because unlike most Yeezy releases where they do two tones on the prime knit, if you look carefully on this shoe, this actually has three different colorways. It looks like this is like a, a navy blue with like a, a greenish kind of turquoise, like a dark turquoise color. And then it has like a gray. So it's like three colorways on the prime there. Usually, if I'm not mistaken, on almost easy 350s, I usually see two, not three. Uh, yeah. Usually it's like two and it has a different, like we see these are the, the Yeezy 350 V2 clouds, but it has specific designs with two colorways. It looks like this one, they just flat out said, let's just do three. Um, but this actually has that mist flavor. That's what you want to call it. But I see peach, green, and gray, and the navy, navy blue all mixed into this. And you may not be, see, be able to see the reflection now, but you could probably see it later once I do a separate video and then we'll get into that. But you can see the stripe. The stripe alone, this is different from the V Yeezy 350 V2s. And this is why. This stripe is so thin, but the holes are exposed. So there's a lot of breathability in this shoe. And it's also holes, if you look carefully, there's actually holes in the prime knit. That's crazy on both sides, not just the outside, but also on the inside. Move this tag. And you can see that there's specific holes on the prime knit on the lower portion. Now the Yeezy Boost is different. We're all accustomed to seeing this, this Yeezy Boost with the ridges on the outsole, but the Yeezy Boost on here is a little bit more taller. Now a lot of people may not like the fact that they went from kind of like a flat design with the Yeezy Boost. They did like a flat design here, but it's curved towards the heel. Uh, and then when you look at the bottom, here's the Yeezy 380 versus the Yeezy 350, you can see the differences, right? So where the Yeezy Boost is exposed, this features more ridges. So what that means is probably in certain locations, you, you may not be able to slip. Maybe this has like a, like I'm guessing, grip towards the actual floor. So you'll have like a tougher grip versus this where you can slip a lot because there's no real traction. I think this features more traction than this shoe. Another difference is in the Yeezy 350 V2s, you notice that by the ankles, it's, it's pretty much exposed, it's open. So it's, it's a lot wider and your ankle doesn't feel as secure. When you put the Yeezy 380 mist on, you see like the sock, like, kind of like the sock liner. This is all flying in. And when you put your ankle in, 
it's going to be secure because this is going to wrap around. Some people don't like this because it's not just this shoe. More shoes I'm seeing that are coming out have this feature where it could be, you know, leather all the way around here, but on the sock liner, this just straight flying it. And it does feel comfortable, at least to me. I put these on, these felt comfortable, but it makes your ankle feel more secure. Um, another subtle difference, take this out, is there is no more stripe on the inside. Yeezy, 3, Yeezy 350 V2s has those three stripes for reflectives. They did not feature that in the 380s. But here's the key thing, and most people don't realize this, on a Yeezy V, <laughs> Yeezy V, Yeezy 350 V2s, there is cushioning on each side. People don't know that. Like So here you'll see a cushion on this side of your ankle, and you'll see another big cushion on this side. So you, you're feeling the cushion kind of like on the ball of your ankle. However, on the Yeezy 380s, and you'll see this in a separate video, there is cushioning all the way around the heel, which is dope because it feels incredible once you put on. And another big difference, I'm pretty sure, look, this is why you want to voice your opinion when you put on shoes, whether you're a shoe YouTuber or just a normal consumer, because your feedback that you supply to Adidas is probably going to be heard. A lot of people complain that the Yeezy 350 V2s, even the first version, they were too narrow at the the top towards the toe and and i would agree it depends on which one you you have and which version you have because the yeast rules if i'm not mistaken had a wider prime net so it felt like it was a little bit more open but most of the v2s they feel like they're not so tight actually they are tight towards the toe the 380s they pretty much just got rid of that because when i put these on there's so much space that you don't have to go a size up. You can go true to size with the Yeezy 350, 350, the Yeezy 380s, um, because there's enough space on the toe where you can put everything in. It feels real good, no, no cap. Now, the thing about this shoe, I think it's dope. The problem is the colorways that they're deciding to come out. A lot of people like the Aliens, but they didn't like the actual colorway. A lot of people just felt like, you know what, it's a dope shoe but they weren't feeling the colorway. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna say the same thing about these Yeezy 380 Mists, but again, keep in mind, this is the first Yeezy 380. That's a reflective pair, meaning it's reflective on the upper, on the stripe. There's no reflection on the laces like some of them do. And let me just take this paper out. If we take the insole out, should be easy to come out, and it is just like the normal Yeezy 352, 352, Yeezy 350 V2s, the insole, pretty much to me, it looks the same. Uh, actually, I can pull pull this out. So this is the insole from a Yeezy 350. <laughs> and this is the insole from the Yeezy 380. It's really not much of a difference. Even the inside is where well, you can see that the Yeezy Boost is actually ex exposed and they're stitching all the way around. It's pretty much the same concept. It's just that they decided to focus more on the engineering concept towards the heel to give the heel more support and it doesn't feel as flat so it feels even more comfortable now you won't we're so used to feeling that easy boost that when you put your foot in you can feel support on the sides because the outsole stretches out the boost is kind of like stretched out toward the side you don't feel that in this but at the same time it still feels comfortable i tr trust me on this so the easy 350 350 easy 380 i gotta get to the whole 350 380 thing it's supposed to come out, if I'm not mistaken, this March, like later on, probably right after next Saturday when the Desert Sage Yeezy 350 V2s come out. And I'm pretty sure that these are going to come out. It's going to be a non-reflective pair. Now, again, that's going to be $230. So your boy, Maleficent, let's go into the other clips so you can see these bad boys in reflection when it's dark. Then we'll go to the video with the on feet so you can see that as well. I am proud to have this in the collection because this is going to be one of those collection shoes that was exclusively dropped on Yeezy Supply and it's the first of its kind with a reflection on the Yeezy 380 series. Hopefully Kanye comes out with some more. I think it's dope. Again, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to because of the colorway, but the execution and the engineering and the thought process behind this shoe, it's pretty dope. So without further ado, let's get straight into the whole video so you can see the reflection, and I'm out.
Take a look at the shoe, the Yeezy 380 Mist Reflective Pairs. Let me tell you right now, this thing looks dope. All around dopeness, you know me, these came straight from Yeezy Supply when they did the shock drop. Um, you can see reflections. I like how they did this with the custom design. It seems like they did this with the lighter colors on the prime knit that wraps all the way around the shoe. You can see it from basically all angles, even from the back. And I think you can even see it on the inside. Yes, you can. We're accustomed to see, seeing the Yeezy 350 V2s where it has those three stripes inside. Um, and this is what I was talking about in the video. So if you look, there's cushioning on the inside of the shoe. And it's usually cushioning on, on the V2s. You'll see that there's cushioning on this side. And it's also on this side. But in the 380, they decided to wrap it all the way around. So you have additional cushioning back there. Um, but then just, I mean, just, just taking a look at it, man. Like, <laughs> you can't miss this. This this is dope. And, and actually, this is the first... Yeezy 380 Mist reflective pairs ever. I think the Yeezy 380 Aliens, there weren't, there was a, there was a non reflective pair that didn't reflect like this. So I guess Kanye decided to take all that reflection from the V Yeezy 350 V2 and then apply it to the Yeezy 380s, um, quote unquote Yeezy 350 V3. <laughs> so, but I mean, outside of that, I mean, just looking at the shoe. I think what's going to take away from this is the fact that they decided to go with this colorway. But outside of that, when you look at this shoe up close and personal, man, this thing feels good on feet. Um, it's, it's deceptive. And you can actually see on the midsole where the Yeezy Boost actually does start. And the prime that actually goes all the way down here. But because of the, the midsole actually covering part of the upper it's deceitful. It, it makes it seem like the prime that stops here, but it actually extends all the way down. This, I'm telling you now, this is the bottom of it. And when you look at the ridges, it's it's a beautiful shoe. Uh, of course, you got the Yeezy Boost at the bottom uh, with the Adidas logo at the end. So when you get your pairs, if you get your pairs, make sure you legit check these things. Um, again, this is straight from Yeezy Supply. We're all looking at the Yeezy 380 Mist Reflective Pairs non-reflective should be coming out later on in march so without further ado let's get these bad boys on feet and see what it looks like